that's where she lived. I thought it would be pretty cool to honor her, and she has no idea that we are doing this tonight. So I want to tell you a little bit about her story. In a culture where we put so much emphasis on an outward appearance, so much emphasis on how we look, this young woman was born with a port wine birthmark on her face. You will see it as soon as she comes forward. And all through her life, people have looked at her and thought she was contagious. They thought she had skin cancer. They told her the doctor surely could do something about that, that she needed to go get it fixed, that she needed to get it changed. There's nothing that she can do about it. She didn't ask to be born with it, but instead of looking it at, at it as a curse, she turned it into a blessing. Instead of allowing that to define her, I think she is a perfect definition of what inner beauty is all about, and it makes her outwardly absolutely gorgeous. I love that she says her goal is to make a difference with her difference. Recently, somebody stole her identity online and turned her into a sympathy cause. They said this poor girl, over 27 million people saw her image because somebody put it out there without her permission. But this young woman is not a sympathy cause. She is a champion for what inner and true beauty is all about. And Crystal Hodges, we want to invite you to come forward right now so we can let you know how beautiful you are. decided to make your life an adventure and not allow anything about your outward appearance, which by the way, you are gorgeous. <laughs> Second of all, I think it's such a testimony that things that are beyond our control, so often we let those things control us. But this is someone who said, now this is not, this is, this was out of my control and I'm not going to allow it to define me. I'm going to de be defined as a daughter of the king. This is what we found out about you, Crystal. We heard that you are a very gifted writer and that your dream is to write a book, right? And you have enrolled um, to go to a big writing retreat thing that's happening in New York, right? A big publicity summit in New York. And we know that you have already enrolled and paid for the tuition, but maybe needed help getting there. So we have taken care of trip ticket for you and your mom. Yeah. 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 And, we, um, and we are paying for your hotels while you're there. And we just want you to fully embrace what God has for All you there. Right. To fully continue to dare to be. I have heard some of your dreams. You have big dreams. And, and um, <laughs> I think one of them was to share the stage with me. Aww. And here we are. Share the stage together. And the story has not finished to be written in your life. So we love you and we honor you tonight. And we believe in you. And we all can't wait to read your book. Right. <laughs> yeah. 